and this is my local kimbap restaurant. So we are at my local kimbap restaurant. This is a place where I eat several times a week, sometimes several times a day. So it's a very small space, a very quaint room, and they have excellent food. Here's the menu here at the Gimbalk restaurant. As you can see, a lot of things are between, uh, roughly between two to four thousand. And this here is our banchan, like kimchi. Um, it's a like little Kiran, egg roll. Mm, that looks good. And not entirely sure. Ah, I can see my rice being prepared here from the distance. This is awesome. Here comes my kimchi fried rice and I'll just do it. Come on. Oh, come on, some of that. Alright, and here we are. We've got the chamchi jjigae, the spicy Korean soup made of tuna. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> and over here is the kimchi fried rice, which is typically topped with a fried egg on top. And yeah, they brought us the... <laughs> We got it mixed up here, so I'm getting, I'm still having the rice, Audrey's having the soup. Is this what you order most of the time? Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is my favorite meal, it's called chamchi jjigae, and it's kind of like a tuna stew, and it's very, very spicy. It has onions, a little bit of tofu, some veggies, and yeah, it always really comes with a side of rice. Quite healthy, isn't it? Yes. It's a very filling meal, and it's only a little bit over four dollars, so I'm happy with the price. Yeah. A nice thing about restaurants in Korea is that when you finish your, your side dishes, you can always ask for more, and it's all free. And we've got two here to replenish. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we like to come to the Gimbal restaurants, especially for me, is that we do we do have to live a, sort of a backpacking lifestyle. We like to save up for travel. And by coming here, we get to have you know delicious Korean food. It's a real cheap price. Okay, so what are you having today? I'm having kimchi bokumbap, which is kimchi fried rice. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a spicy dish too. And it's my favorite way to make kimchi. I really like it when it's fried. And I already know it's gonna be good, so. It's a very cold winter day today. So for lunch, we decided to have some gambuta which is a hearty Korean stew. Mm. So in Korea, you cut everything with scissors. Forget knives. This is the way it's done. This is the way it's done. Eat like the locals. Same with the kimchi. Yep. Chop that up. Looks nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So here's the delicious stew and these are all the different ingredients we have on it lots of vegetables lots of potatoes here on the side meat it's going to be lovely i'd like to know what the white stuff is so this is the kind of restaurant where you come to fight off the hangover by eating heijangbuk or in our case if you're freezing you come for a hearty stew like this one yep. Bubbling goodness. Mm -hmm. What you doing over there? I'm just taking the meat off of the pork spine. Mm -hmm. And how's the meat? Mm -hmm. Tasty. Oh yes. Okay, it's time to dish it up. It is all cooked. So as you can see, the, the broth is a real thick and hearty looking type of broth with the different sesame seeds and all kinds of different pastes. So gamjutang soup basically means that it has potatoes, but there's also lots of other things in there. We have pork spine, there are some rice cakes, sesame leaves, sesame seeds, mushrooms, there was a white paste which we haven't really figured out what it was. We think it may be a sesame based paste. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe the broth? It's a lot spicier than I was expecting, but it's very flavorful. Yeah. Really good. Let's get a close up shot. Yeah. 
So with the gums at home, you really have to make sure to stir it around so it doesn't stick to the bone meat. Kind of made that mistake for a few minutes. It'll just add to the flavor. It will. <laughs> so this is the meat after it has been deboned and I like to dip it in the mustard sauce. It's really spicy and it almost reminds me of wasabi a little but with a mustardy flavor. It does have a definitely a bite, a little bit of a tang to it. Mm. So let's show us how it's done. Let's grab a little bit. Oh, that looks fatty. Hold on, normal piece. That one. There you go. <laughs> So just dip it, in it the sauce. swirl it around. Delicious. Well, we're almost finished the meal, and what is left is basically just a thick collection of stew, meat, and a few random potatoes and veggies. As you can see here, our feast is complete. The cost of this meal was Iman Ochonwan which is 25,000 won, roughly 25 US dollars, a little bit less. And overall our feeling was that although it was tasty and definitely delicious, um, compared, relatively compared to what we can get at other Korean restaurants, it's a little bit expensive. So probably won't try this one again. Today's Valentine's Day in Korea. Instead of stuffing ourselves with copious amounts of chocolate, we've decided to come and have a Korean traditional set lunch. So Korea has a lot of lovey-dovey holidays for couples and we've actually managed to miss most of them. So there was Kiss Day in June, I believe, and then Hug Day in December, and we were unaware of these. So we got to make up and celebrate Valentine's Day this year. So by Korean set meal, what it's called locally is Han Chunchik. And what that means is basically it's, it's a set meal built around Tech, usually built around the rice dishes, we're getting the dole slot set, which is a stone pot rice set. And so what we expect to have is a lot of different side dishes and soup. So it's going to be a really big meal. Mm, I'm starving, so I'm looking forward to this. Yes, me too. First off, they brought us juke, which is kind of like a soup. So take a look in here. And this is black. It is. I wonder what it's made of. Good question. I'll take a sip and let you know. Any guesses? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> is it good though? No, it is good. Okay, yeah, it's that's, really that's, nice. That's important. Oh, and there's jam too. There's little jam. Come some of that. Yeah. So our feast has arrived, it's a pleasant surprise, we really didn't know what we were going to get, so we'll give you a bit of a tour here. Um, over here we've got something called bulgogi, which is marinated beef strips, these are going to be delicious. Down here it looks like we've got a, a normal salad. Jeon, which is Korean style pancakes, which we both love. This looks like it's sort of like a, a little mini kind of tonkas, breaded cutlet. Have another kind of salad and chop chai. Oh. We've just been brought one more dish here, which is called bosam, a kind of steamed meat. So the bulgogi is finished cooking, now we're going to dish it up. Let's get some veggies in there yeah. too. And the bulgogi is known for having a, a sweet sauce, like the, what it's being marinated in is actually quite a sweet sauce. There Very flavorful and tasty. That, look? that looks Awesome. <laughs> it's getting steamed up. <laughs> Time to try it. Mm. How does it taste? It's awesome. The meat's really tender. Really nice sauce. Mm. <laughs> what you got there? This is the most delicious pajan I've had since I've been in Korea. Korean it's, pancake? It's little Korean pancake with lots of green onions and this one also has seafood. It looks like baby octopus maybe. It's so good. Crispy, very crispy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Flavorful. There are so many side dishes to choose from that it's a little difficult to decide what you're going to eat next. So 
so I really thought the meal was over after the first set of dishes yeah. came out, but nope. behold, there is this, even this more. This is a proper to feast. feast. Let's take a look at what we got. <laughs> All kinds of goodness, ranging from fish to soup, and here, which I'm going to open here, is the dole sot, the stone pot rice. Okay, what we're going to be doing right now is we're actually going to be scooping out the rice from the stone pot and then adding water to the burnt sides of it. So what that does is it creates sort of a rice soup. So I'll be scooping it out. So at this point we scraped out all of the rice from the main part, so you can see we put it in the bowl. And now we've just got the rice on the sides, we're going to add some hot water and turn it into the soup. So, like this, it's full, cover it up. And we wait. And we wait. <laughs> Looks like we're putting a little bit too much water in here. Is it <laughs> bubbling and overflowing? <laughs> That's my rice just bubbling next to me on the table. <laughs> so here is my whole fish. I'm just trying to get some meat off without the bones. I have to take out the spine. Let's try it. This is kind of difficult. Oh. <laughs> More so. Alright, it is time for the official unveiling of the stone pot. So now we have a little rice soup. It's a, kind of a murky looking. Alright, Audrey will try it. Hopefully not burn myself. <laughs> It does look very hot. Mm, it's very sweet. Is it sweet? It's like a sweet tea with rice in it. <laughs> it was a great meal. I am personally stuffed and there are still so many dishes that I never got around to trying. It was just very, very filling. So much food. Would you come back again? I would definitely come back here. Definitely feel the same way as Audrey. One of the better value meals I've had in a long time. It's just awesome. Tonight for dinner, we're going to show you one of our favorite Korean meals. It's actually Korean Chinese food. In every country, Chinese food is a little bit different, and Korea is no exception. This here is a typical Korean Chinese restaurant. It's, it's just a small little place. <laughs> we have someone who's very hungry. So the last time we had Chinese food was in Busan on our first trip together. And Sam ate so much that one night that he couldn't even walk afterwards. He ended up not even seeing the markets, not seeing the city. It was straight to bed for him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, sadly it's true. Some of the yum, yum. Check this out. It's for one person. It's like a feast in a bowl. What is it? That's jajangmyeon. Which is? It's noodles with a black bean paste and some onions. Oh wow. And this is this is an actual set we ordered. We got this whole massive feast. Like these are huge bowls. Hard hard to tell even with the camera angle. This is just a huge feast. And we got sweet and sour pork for now this is a value meal. For the two of us, thirteen dollars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm already digging in. You are. <laughs> well that's the long noodle. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. One of our favorite things to have. So here we have the sweet and sour pork. It's breaded and deep fried, and it's in a nice sweet sauce. And we also have a few veggies like onions, carrots, 
and maybe coleslaw. Mm, nice little surprise there. That's really good. Really good? Really, it's quite sweet, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. In a Chinese Korean restaurant, often the best value meals are the sets. We ordered what was set A, which included the two bowls of jajangmyeon here. There they are, one. And the tong si yuk, the sweet mm. and sour spicy pork. And we were gonna, like, this is, this meal will leave us stuff. We'll be lucky if we can finish it all. Oh, yeah, that's gonna fill us up for sure. Just mixing in the black bean paste. And then I'm gonna stuff my face. Okay. <laughs> you got enough? Sure, you got enough there? Yeah. As usual, in a Korean Chinese restaurant, you don't really get that many side dishes, so we just have these lovely little yellow. I don't know, what are Radishes. they? Radishes. <laughs> Yeah. That's the banchan, that's the Korean side dish for here. We've got so much so much to eat left that we don't care. <laughs> right? Well, I couldn't quite finish mine, it was just too much food. Sam did a little bit better. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> a true pig. But anyways, for someone visiting Korea and looking for yeah. Cheap budget meal is delicious. We recommend Korean Chinese food. It's awesome. For lunch today, we're having one of my favorite foods in all of Korea, um, hamu pajeon. Jeon is a kind of Korean pancake, and it's actually the very first meal I ever had when I came to Seoul many years ago. So this is a, an old familiar favorite. So this is the kind of meal that you eat as an appetizer before a really big feast, or you can have it as an anju, which means you eat it as a side dish when you're having drinks. So it appears we got some kind of a rice tea or drink before our meal comes. So we're just dishing it up and we're just see what it tastes like. And take a sip. Yeah, it's a kind of refreshing uh, rice, hot rice drink, hot rice tea. So it looks like we have a little soup here with some soybeans and healthy green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Some here. So in my hands here is something called makori. It's a Korean uh, rice wine and it is something that can be made with both rice and wheat, fermented rice and wheat. And it is traditionally a popular drink with farmers, Korean farmers, but it's now everyone loves it. So it comes in these cute little balls, so I'm gonna show you what it pours like. It's kind of a has a white murky milky substance. And it is a perfect drink pairing for what we've ordered the Korean pizza and the haja. So it's just they go together. So makori isn't too strong, it's typically only six to eight percent alcohol. So it's a it's a nice social drink where you can have several cups. They've rolled the kimchi up here nice and nice and neat and cute. In fact, I think it's almost too cute to eat. Can you imagine? Kimchi too cute to eat? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so... Here it is. Cheers. Cheers, gumbe, as they say in Korea. That's nice. Is it nice? Yeah, it is. Alright, time for a Korean cheers. Gumbe. Wow, that's massive. Mm. 
이렇게 잘라 드시면 되고요. 김치도 요 가위로 이렇게 잘라 드시면 돼요. 아, 알겠어요. 감사합니다. All right. Here is our hajan and it is a generous generous looking size. It's massive. It is massive. We've got the tongs and the scissors to cut it up. We have expert hands. So it's just been lovingly cut up into nice little bite-sized bits and we are going to try it. Yes. yes I am, once I'm able to pick it up. <laughs> And I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. The cut, which is soy sauce, basically kung jang. I know I'm not supposed to be using my hands, but I want to make Ooh, this happen. There we go. Mm. Good. That sauce is good. So pajan is the perfect meal to enjoy with a friend. Um, it's often typically eaten during like bad weather days, for example, when it's raining or when people go hiking together. It's a very social meal. If you look down here, you can see that pa is actually the, the green onion, the scallions. These are the, this here is what is called the pa. And because we have seafood and other objects like this, so there's some seafood, this is actually a hamul pajan, there's shrimp. So there's a whole bunch of different vegetables and seafood, and it's made with a salty pancake-like dough out of flour. Are you feeling a little buzz from the macaroni? I'm buzz. I hardly had any. <laughs> okay, what's your verdict for, the, for, the, for this I meal? I really liked it. I thought it was a great jun. It was very tasty. The seafood was pretty fresh. Do you, you want to know when something is, is turned out to be a good meal? What? When you look down and there's not even a morsel left. <laughs> Take the last one. There you go. All right. Some happy customers. Well, I love this meal. Um, we took care of the pajan here completely. And I probably knocked off about 80, 85% of the makkari. And I've got, a, I've got a nice little buzz going on right now. Yeah. Well, I'm in a happy place. Today we are visiting the Shin Old Tea House where we will be enjoying a cup of traditional tea. So right now we find ourselves in a very cozy little tea house. It's very cute. They have low dim lighting and tapestries and pillows on the ground. So we've ordered ourselves some nice fruity teas. So this tea house is located just off of Insadong, which is known as the sort of the cultural hub street of Seoul. And we found this just this quaint little place. And as we place our orders, we have some little delicious some looking little snacks. Treats here. This looks like rice cake. And maybe another rice cake covered in honey. Yeah. With little cereal chunks on top, maybe. Try this. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy, yeah? Um, okay. It's like puffed rice, like ice popcorn maybe. Mm -hmm. And it has like honey on the outside. So Is it's it very sweet? sweet. Very sweet? Mm -hmm. Sweet and airy. Oh, come up some of So this here is a ginger tea. Yeah. And the meishil cha is the plum tea. Mm. How's the plum tea? It's delicious. Mine is so sweet. It's almost like liquid honey, but it's not too overwhelming. It's really nice. So there's plenty of flavor, aside mm. from it being sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. And what kind of tea did you get over there? I got ginger tea. And the same thing, nice sweet tea, really strong ginger flavor. It's just 
perfect way to warm up on a winter day. Mm-hmm, oh, yeah. agreed. Okay, I'm going to try one of these now. It's a rice cake with a green swirl in it. <laughs> I'm not sure what the green swirl is because I can't taste any difference. So it's, it's very, it's a kind of a plain, plain tasting? Mm -hmm. Just a regular rice cake. Okay. We're receiving heat from two different sources, an electric fan up above us, and then we also have the ondol system on the floor where the heated floors, heated floors by the heated pipes underneath. So we're, we're as toasty as you get. I feel like I could take a nap in here. I probably could too. <laughs> Getting off of Insadong's main strip is a really good idea because it's usually in the back alleys where you can find traditional restaurants, traditional tea houses, and just quieter places. A much better value and also mm -hmm. traditional homes as well, mm -hmm. which is, this is the same as here. So we are finished. Sadly, our tea is gone. So it's time to wrap things up and head back into Insadong for a little shopping and maybe some cake. So tonight we're going to be trying a new dish here. It's at our actual favorite restaurant. It's going to be our last time to be here because I'm finishing my teaching contract and going back to Canada. But anyways, we're going to be trying, it's actually the signature dish of this restaurant and it's called Tattori Tong, which is a spicy chicken vegetable stew. And I've had this before, it's delicious. And we've always come here and had our um, dulce bibimbap and so do we take it because we, we love it. And this is actually the signature dish at this restaurant. And we're going to be eating it today. Yum! How hungry are you? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Am I hungry, babe? Yeah, Let's do your hungry face. I'm hungry. Uh, my hungry lion face? <laughs> yes. It's like... <laughs> Come on. I'm hungry. So here is our hearty chicken stew. It's the perfect winter dish. It's got lots of pieces of chicken, potatoes, onions, vegetables. It looks really tasty and really filling. It is bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Yum, yum, yum. Let's dig in. And we have a nice piece of chicken breast over here. Ooh. ooh. Mm, I'm loading up myself. Yeah. Lots of potatoes, lots of chicken. This is the perfect dish now that the temperatures have dropped below zero. It's just so filling and it gets feeling all warm. And the potatoes are nice and soft and the chicken has been boiling for a while so it's very tender. And it's just just fall, really good. falls right off the bone. Yes, it's one of my favorite Korean dishes so far. I wish I'd discovered it sooner. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, so tell us your thoughts. How much are you loving this dish? I'm loving it. I think you're loving it. <laughs> One of the interesting things about this dish is that there's you know, several different parts of the chicken here. And these drumsticks, there's you know, various parts, parts without bones. But there is some work involved while you eat it. Mm -hmm. This is the bone section. <laughs> okay, so Tom is what this dish is called and I'll break down sort of the different words within the dish. So tok means chicken and tori, I honestly have no idea what it means. Tong is stew. So you can imagine this as chicken stew. I have a feeling it might be chicken mixed stew or chicken spicy stew but 
it, it also has uh, potatoes and onions and different things in it. So, uh, it's steaming as you speak. <laughs> okay, so this dish, this Taktori Tom, comes in you know, several different sizes. The one we got here is actually the small. And if you take a look at it, it's not small. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, a lot of it's, meat it's, boiling right it's there. It's a lot of meat and potatoes for two people. It also comes in the medium and large size. So the dish we're ordering here is uh, 19,000 yen won, won, which is 17, 18 US dollars these days. So it's, you know, all of this for that price is really reasonable. Um, the medium is 24,000 won. And the large is a 29,000 won. I'm guessing the large could feed a, you know, an entire family, maybe an entire extended family. It's just a lot of food. We're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So we polished off the stew. This is what's, what's left of it. And this is actually the best part. The broth got really thick and it's flavorful and saucy. And you like your saucy foods, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> what a feast. What a great way to end my time in Korea. And I think you have a little sauce on your lips. Yeah, in the corner of your mouth a bit. No? <laughs> oh crap. Korean barbecue time. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, we're back at our favorite barbecue. Tonight we're having so galbi. The difference being we're having beef instead of pork, and the cut of beef is so much better. It's not nearly as fatty, so it's gonna be delish. Unlike the salmon XL, this galbi is coated in a sweet sauce. Check it out. This being the sauce. One of our favorite aspects of this meal is that it's a do-it-yourself barbecue. We are preparing it for our I am loving this meat. It's very soft and juicy and I've gotten used to eating very fatty meats here in Korea so this is like gold. <laughs> <laughs> what are you putting in it now? Um, the red chili sauce. I forget what it's Samjang. called. Samjang. Samjang. Let's see your yummy face. I'm having a yummy good time. <laughs> so if you want to eat the meat like a Korean, I'm going to show you how. So we've got the lettuce in one hand, we've got the meat from the chopsticks. Follow me. First we're going to dip it into the soy sauce. And then a little bit into the samjang, which is the red pepper paste and a little bit of soybean paste. Plop that right into the lettuce. Then we're gonna go get some leafy springs here. Put those in. Spring onion, like that. And we would have garlic, but we weren't given any today, so that's gonna be good enough. We just forgot to cook it. I have all the garlic. Oh, you do? Over there, okay. Roll it into a bowl and pop it in your mouth. Oh, come on. Mm. We finished cooking all the meat, so now we're just grilling the onions and the garlic a little bit. And we take the meat off of the, the grill because otherwise it just totally burns. Like this is about perfect. So this is about as close as you can get to the you know the caveman diet, the so-called caveman diet. It's just basically meat, veggies, and a bit of soup. There's really no carbs here at all. 
And this is the Caron Gym. It's like an egg souffle soup and it's almost gone. We like it a lot. Beef and M. <laughs> Beef, not what? Beef, not what? <laughs> Cut! Blippers! <laughs> the difference being. Going. <laughs> Happy Saturday! <laughs> yeah, we're going to our favorite Korean restaurant in my area, and it's just a little hole in the wall place. We're going to show you what it's all about. Yes, and this is a place we visit very often, almost every single weekend. The food is amazing. Amazing and cheap. Yes, that's why we like it. Okay, show us the way. Hey, come in. So it's in the basement, we have to go down the stairs. Ooh. Steps. Okay. We're going right by a butcher shop here. Ooh. Look. And here it is. This is the restaurant. It's called... Our favorite place. I'm not sure it has a name. It does. Look up. Oh, it does. I've never noticed that I before. I haven't either. Kana and Shiptang. So this is a Korean sit-down restaurant, so we get some pillows. Here's and what do we have here? Tea. Mm. And you can see it's a traditional table. Yes. I like this restaurant because first, we get so many side dishes. The service is pretty fast. It doesn't take too long for me to cook. So it's better than fast food in Korea. Yes. <laughs> Which is actually slow. It's slow food. So now it's your turn. Tell us why do you like this restaurant so much? Well, I love it because it's a typical hole in the wall Korean style place. They always tend to be the best restaurants in this country. You know, the places in the basement, the places that aren't a chain restaurant, it's got a bit of character to it. But the limbs. Hey! Sexy Audrey! Silly dancing style, way good dancing style. <laughs> Whoa, you're really into your Korean soap operas, aren't you? Our Korean feast, we're having our two favorites. We're having dosal bibimbap, which is the mixed Korean rice. Take a look at that. There it is. All the veggies, all the yumminess. We're going to be adding this sauce to it. And then our favorite soup. Sundubu jjigae. Sundubu jjigae, which is tofu a soft stew. tofu soup. Spicy too. Mm -hmm. Sam is stirring the dosal bibimbap. Mm. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Is it hot? Oh. And action. How is it? And our Korean feast, which we nearly devoured, only cost us over 10 US dollars. Not so bad. Good value. Full belly means a happy boy. Yeah. yeah. Happy dance. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> and that was lunch at our favorite place. Yeah. What's. Well, say it. It's <laughs> not cheap, it's delicious, the portions are generous. Blah So basically what shabu shabu is, is it's a kind of a 
a hot pot style hot pot, Korean style hot pot. And what we do is we have the different, um, you can see we have different ingredients. We have meat here, slice, thin slices of beef we're going to be putting in. We've got greens, we've got different vegetables here already in the pot. We've got noodles that we'll be adding at one point. And over here, this is what we're going to be putting uh, to make the rice at the very end. So there's a lot of different courses in this meal. Basically, eventually we're going to get all of these different greens and meat into here. And it's this type of spicy hot pot, perfect for the winter season. So we're going to put some of the vegetables in the soup right now. So snip, up, snip. Nice and long. Oh. All the leafy goodness. That one of, one of our favorite aspects of, of these kind of communal Korean meals is the do-it-yourself part. So we're actually, you know, we're cooking a bit of the meal here. Not much, but a little bit. So next up is the meat. Mm -hmm. Just pop, plop it right into the pot. And it cooks very fast, that's why you don't want to, that's not why you, you don't want to put it in at first. It's good to cook the vegetables first, because of that reason. So apparently, the name Shabu Shabu is derived from an onomatopoeia, meaning that the Shabu Shabu sound is supposed to indicate the swishing sound of the beef cooking in the hot, hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> shabu 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 Bubbly, 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 bubbly. Now it is noodle time. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. There we go. Disaster averted. Yeah. And that makes it a lot more thick. Oh. So I'm really enjoying the meal so far. My favorite part is the, the thin strips of beef, and you can dip that in a wasabi and soy sauce mixture. And it's, it's really strong, really potent. It's made my eyes water a couple of times. So and let's see you do the demo. It's really good. Let's see a demo here. A demo? I'm not sure there's any beef left. I devoured most of it. Oh, here. There's a little one. So? Mm, let's yeah. soak it. <laughs> the camera's all fogged up now. <laughs> nice. So here I am with the thin strip of beef, and I'm going to be dunking it into the soy sauce wasabi combo. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So the Korean lady is over there making our bokumbap, our fried rice, and she's using some of the leftover ingredients from the shabu shabu, as well as mixing it in into the pot. And here comes our fried rice, the bokumbap. Oh, look at that. And the best part is that if you leave it for a while, it gets crispy on the bottom. So you get a nice crispy golden. Huh? Hold on, it's really hot. <laughs> mm. Tasty? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Man 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 Meal calls Mangu Chun Won, which is about, not about, it is 19,000 won. Which sure is. is. the 19 US dollars. So it's a pretty good price. It's, it's the meal that the, keeps on giving. I yep. mean, you get the soup with the vegetables, the beef, the noodles, the rice at the end, and a cup of free Complimentary coffee. coffee. What's Friday not to like? It's, it's a lot of food. It's great. Yeah.